<laughs> Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. I can't speak for everyone. Beck, it's their home. We're not going to find another place like this tonight. Es gibt exakt einen, für den ich da, Dad, oder zwei, für die ich nicht sprechen kann. A Christmas tree. Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Echte Idee, da unten waren Lichter. Gut, if you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Verrückt. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to. It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well... Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, but <laughs> then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Plötzlich so eine alltägliche Aufgabe. Kochen. 
Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? <laughs> what is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's okay. peaches and beans. That's all we got. <laughs> huh. Striking resemblance. Hmm. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Hmm. Oh, nein. Matthew war der, den Nick erschossen hat. Oh, scheiße. Oh, scheiße. Oh, das wird böse. Oh Gott. Das ist schlecht. Cousin Jared's Concert, Oktober 13th, 1998. Crazy. Das ist jetzt nicht so gut? Nee, das ist überhaupt nicht gut, ist das, wenn die das erfahren. Aber wir haben ja gesagt am Anfang, wir können nicht für alle sprechen. Das Problem ist halt, dass wir auch versprochen haben, auf Nick aufzupassen. Aber ganz ehrlich, Nick stellt sich genauso dämlich an wie Ben in der ersten Staffel. Dem kannst du erzählen, was du willst, der verbockt es trotzdem irgendwie. Ach, die schmücken den Baum. What's this song you're humming? I haven't seen one of these since. It's a Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very... Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When yeah. I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard then. <laughs> Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Finde etwas für die Weihnachtsbaumspitze. Okay, dann suchen wir mal. <lacht> mal gucken wir in der dritten Staffel, genau. <lacht> Wenn gleich Nick Reinkarnation confirmed. Ja, irgendwie kommt das tatsächlich hin. Ich war gerade etwas irritiert. Ich dachte, es geht um die Kratzer da an der Wand, aber anscheinend haben die nichts zu bedeuten. Man wird so ein bisschen ähm, paranoid, glaube ich, bei diesem Spiel. Ich gerade kurz überlegt habe, ob das nicht Kratzer von menschlichen Fingernägeln in dem Stein sind. Ach oh Gott. What a funny little guy. 
Ja, es ist schon wieder eine Ente. Gucken, wie viele Enten wir noch treffen, sehen, finden. Hm, bisher habe ich nichts gefunden und äh, in diese Weihnachtsdeko-Sachen hier können wir gar nicht reingucken. Äh, wir gehen mal nach oben. Soll man eigentlich absichtlich das Licht vergessen? Ich warte auch die ganze Zeit auf eine Option im Dialog, dass ich das irgendwem mal erzählen könnte. Dragon? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? <laughs> Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not gonna be easy. <clears throat> I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. <laughs> It's not his. Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. <laughs> I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. Tun wir dem äh zum Sarah den gefallen und nehmen den Engel. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. <laughs> Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, That's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? 
I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Okay. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Da stirbt ja keiner. Ich bin froh, dass mal gerade keiner stirbt für ein paar Minuten. Uh. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just. I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Hm. Die zwei Nettesten, zwischen denen müssen wir uns entscheiden, zu wem setzen wir uns denn jetzt. Oh, zu wem setzen wir uns denn jetzt? <lacht> oh Gott. Ah, Marcel, du kennst schon die ganze Staffel, okay. Ähm, tja. Also ich hätte im Zweifelsfall eigentlich gesagt, wenn wir uns jetzt zwischen einer der beiden Gruppen entscheiden müssen, würde ich mich eigentlich für Kenny entscheiden. Aber ich mag ihn auch sehr gerne hier, Luke. Der wirkt halt auch echt nett. Ich würde halt äh, Nick und den Doktor irgendwie gerne wegschicken. <lacht> und dann einfach mit dem Rest hier bei denen bleiben. Warum haben sie nicht einfach alle an einen Tisch gesetzt? So, man kann sich ja mal kennenlernen. Die Entscheidung ist schwerer als jemand um das Bein abhacken. <lacht> so ungefähr. Ah, scheiße. Ich glaube, Luke war eben schon enttäuscht, als wir gesagt haben, wir können nicht für jeden bürgen. Kenny, weil man ihn ja ewig nicht mehr gesehen hat. Ja, aber... Luke ist, glaube ich, schon ein bisschen gekränkt. Weißt? Und wenn wir uns jetzt wieder nicht zu ihm setzen, ich meine, er hat uns das Leben... Ja, Kenny hat uns auch schon so oft das Leben gerettet. Scheiße. Mann, ich will einfach nur was essen. Ist denn das so schlimm, wo ich mich hinsetze? Gott. Bauchgefühl. Es tut mir leid. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? I trust him. With your life? I think so. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. A thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. He did the best he could. I'm sure he did. It was really hard on everyone. I bet. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? Excuse me? Luke, listen to him. I have been, but... Kenny's my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. 
Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Mm. Who's duck? Kenny. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> Do you really think everyone can just get along? They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? <laughs> well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Maybe, maybe not. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? Mm. You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Ah, in the guten Abend. Miss? <gasps> no! Uh, wie heißt sie nochmal? Wie heißt sie nochmal? Do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. So was sagt man eigentlich nicht so laut in so einer Situation? Wir haben richtig viel. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I, I don't know. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. <laughs> Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Freak out.
Listen, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Oh, scheiße. Also doch. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Mm. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. It's it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. Ich hätte gerne jetzt doch noch die Option gehabt, es ihnen zu erzählen, statt einfach nur das Messer loszuwerden. Ich wollte nur wissen, was wäre, wenn sie es doch herausfinden. Ah, oh, nein. Es ist weg. Irgendwer hat es schon gefunden. It's gone. Er hat es gefunden. Zu spät. Oh Mann.